welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Ram, our last meme tier Monday deck today. This one's going to be pretty cool. This one's going to be all about attacking and attacking a lot with Battering Ram. Battering Ram is a 6 mana epic, 0 12, that's not great, Overwhelm, well it has 0 power, but it has this attack ability whenever it attacks grant me plus four plus zero permanent grant so we want to attack a lot so each time it gets an additional plus four plus zero that's the plan all right so in order to do that we got some different things first of all we got katarina the other card uh in the deck name whenever katarina levels up we have repeatable rallies four mana each time it's summoned we get to rally so we can attack with our battering rams we also have um cataclysm as like a removal spell that's that's a free attack we have rallies with golden ages that we can also get a barrier around our battering ram. And finally, we have field promotion that we can give battering ram scout. So if we give it scout and then we, you know, rally, especially when we don't usually have the attack token, then, you know, we can attack even another time. So that should be pretty cool. And now for our backup besides battering ram, because there's only three in the deck, we'll have Shivana and Shivana will be our other one. Oh, also ruined Re reckoner. I forgot to mention Ruin Reckoner. Ruin Reckoner, whenever I'm summoned, you create the Midnight Raid in hand where an ally gets a free attack. That's going to be pretty awesome on, uh, especially with Scout. And so if we don't have Battering Ram, then we'll have Shivana and we'll do the same stuff with Shivana, right? So we're either going to be attacking a whole bunch with Shivana, because of course Shivana uh, gets larger and larger when it's attacking, or with Battering Ram. That's kind of the plan. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so let's get to it. Let's have some fun. Let's attack a bunch, hopefully with Katarina Ram. We'll go play our five games in normal. We got Aphelios and... Who's this? I don't know which champion that is. Is, that's, is that Diana? Diana has a skin like that? I didn't even know that. I mean, I have not played Diana in too long. It's been a while since we played Diana. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep the field promotion and send all these back. And I need some units. All right, we got Dragon Chow, Shivana. Good combo. I don't want to play Dragon Chow right away because then they attack and kill my Dragon Chow, and I don't want that to happen. Do they get the deal three damage? To do three damage to my Dragon Chow? I want to hold up the mana for Sharp Sight just in case. All right, cool. So now we, we have our three spell mana, so we can play Field Promotion plus Shivana. Okay, they're getting a two cost follower. I do have to worry about Diana, though. Let's go worry about Diana. But I think that Shivana should be safe. Five health. By the moon's crescent flame. You tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. I cannot turn back. I will be heard. It's all about you. I this, I that. All right, Shivana time. Let's attack oh, with Shivana. Yeah, I mean, I could play Katarina first. No, I mean, Katarina has... Like, this is like a scout attack anyway. Katarina can come down the, the next time anyway. So I can use Sharp Sight to kill the Robin. That's probably pretty smart to do. Witness my true power. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna have lots and lots of attacks with this Dragon Shivan now. I think I just save spell mana. One damage anywhere doesn't really matter, but yeah, I'm gonna want the spell mana for these things. Battering Ram. I mean, you cool and everything, Battering Ram, but I'm kind of kind of busy. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Golden Ages or Ruined Reckoner? I think Ruined Reckoner. Yeah. Noxus will pay for what they did to us. Our light grows brighter. Night descends. Face your heretic. Man, I need one more mana. If they have another, because if they have another pale cascade, I really want to single combat like the four three on the Diana. I should have, I should have gone Golden Ages. Oh, I should have gone Golden Ages. This is really bad. I think, I think that's just my best play. And if they, if they have it, I'm trying to think of like if we could still win. We probably don't, but hopefully not. Hopefully nothing from them. Yeah, they just have more pill cascades. Moonlight guide me. Gross. I should have gone golden ages. Okay, well, big mistake by me. One more mana would have made the world a difference, though. All right, so I messed this. I messed this up. The guilty were bad. It was always one mana off with like the, you know, like all these even numbers of, of mana. A cool deck opponent. You're playing against something different. And Diana's awesome. I think this game really showed how good Diana can be. I feel like I need to not attack with Katarina. So I can have Katarina death like so I can have the Death Lotus next round, but it's just Blood for Noxus! No mercy for heretics. Never play fair.
Cool. That's actually great. I, I wasn't going to actually attack with the Katarina anyway, because I was going to keep the Katarina... Like, I had to keep the Katarina in play to block. So that was just a waste of a Gravitum, because I wasn't... I wasn't blocking with that thing in. Like, they could have just Gravitumed the Inviolus Vox. That just worked out. Their deck's pretty cool. Diana and Aphelios. I've trained my whole life for this. Night descends. Face your heretic. Definitely want to block with this thing so it can drain one. So many Pale Cascades everywhere. Good thing we drained one, so we're still going to survive at one. We're not dead yet. We strike. So what do they get? They got Infernum. Oh, come on! Why didn't I just play this dragon? Unspeakable horror. So I didn't play that dragon, so I was thinking maybe I was going to be Katarina twice, right? Because, you know, we have 10 mana, so I was thinking, you know, we could Katarina twice. Lissandra and Talia. Right, so it's kind of all about, you know, like having a lot of attacks is, is good for in this matchup for sure. It's, it's just kind of all about, do they have a very fast, um, you know, free, you know, 8-8. Eight, eight. So it's all about hopefully not pass 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 go to the next round yes okay that's that's big that's very important ask me about dragons i just may have an answer follow the tracks so we're gonna have the same start i don't want to draw any more units i just want spells now Spells to protect Shivana and allow me to attack with Shivana more and everything like that. Okay. Definitely considering passing, but I don't think it's the thing to do because, like, they should just have like avalanches and blighter ravines, that kind of stuff. But I think we still do this. Wow, still passed. Wasted that four mana. They are nothing. I guess technically I could put another scout dragon in, in play. But I don't think so. Like that enemy. That thing, it's absolutely stellar. Oh, thank you, Luck. Luck says, that's why I watch you, by the way, not for the wins, but how respectful and complimentary you are uh, with the losses. Yeah, you know, like, that was still a, a great game that we just played. <laughs> We drew the other other dragon chow after we played our other dragon. Come on, there's so much to see. There's not that much to see. 
There's like a little bit. I would love to play like, you know, get more battering rams in play. Do I have to play Golden Ages right now though? Level up this Shivana? I kind of feel like I kind of have to before there's like a whole bunch of 8-8s. Eight like if, I, if I wait till... Like just even like my attack next round there could be a bunch of 8-8s. Eight yeah, soldier. I just like that they don't, you know, they don't have mana to frostbite or anything right now. I'm, I really like that. Witness my true power. Straping strike. One big Shivana. I'm gonna scout a battering ram. This should be their like frostbite round. Oh, do I scout a battering ram or do I just attack? are so big. Fury of the North would cost 5 mana. It'd basically take up the rest of their rounds. It's like the only way they kill Shivana. But would exactly kill Shivana. Cool. If they had another flash freeze, they could stay alive at one if I attack out with everything. And they would kill my Shivana. Alright, so there we go. That was pretty cool. Echo Vi. Could probably be another fun, good game. Okay. So we're going to mulligan, mulligan. Like, Katarina's the type of card they want to have in the late game, but not necessarily immediately. Especially against Piltover and Zahn with all their Mystic Shots and stuff. Don't want it immediately. House Spider works really well with Vanguard Redeemer. Like, that's a pretty cool combination. You have, like, the little spider to uh, have that die and draw a card. Call shot. Letting my opponent off the hook with, with that attack. Save two spell mana. We got lots of two mana spells. Oh, mobilize. Actually, a pretty good hand for mobilize. Let's just go ahead and yeah. Let's just go ahead and mobilize. All right, they got two parallel convergence in their deck. Never play fair. Katarina allows me to keep single combat up. Quick as the blade. 
I just feel like the Shivana is going to die to... Like, they block with Perfectionist. Like, Perfectionist is pretty annoying there. I feel like... Suffer my fury. So when Katarina goes back into your hand, it does reset so that Mobilize doesn't continue to keep it three, like, you know, the one, the cost reduction. That would be amazing if it did, but that's not how that works. Um, I could single combat the 1-3 right here to grow with the Fury, but it still takes the one damage, so it just still ends up the exact same. It still dies to Mystic Shant. If it ain't my favorite time-traveling genius, punk buddy. Well, I'd be weirded out if I wasn't. Noxus will pay for what they did to us. For the king. Do over. So you still get their time trick. I'm hoping they play the time trick, right? And yes, okay, good. So we're not going to kill Katarina. So now we can have another Ruined Reckoner, another Katarina attack. Why am I saying Katarina? This is Shivana. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I serve a nobler cause. Okay, there we go, because that levels up Shivana. And then we get to untap with leveled up Shivana, it's going to be big, and that kind of deck does struggle with really large units, so they never had like that Mystic Shot to kill my Shivana. Oh no! Sejuani! Sejuani's always the downfall of these attack a whole lot decks, because they just infi Frostbite. Alright, so we're going to start with the Mulligans. Yeah, looks like we got a bad case of the Mulligans. I think we'll get rid of Sharp Sight. What am I doing with you, Sharp Sight? We need to find... Send you back. Okay, we got, like, part of our deck. We just need to draw Shivana right now. Because we have kind of everything else to help set up Shivana. <laughs> Literally everything else. Let's get crew. Everything else. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. Or just even a, a cheaper dragon would have been really nice. Not so much this expensive dragon. Ugh. Shivana. Nope. They are on the trigger. We're in trouble. Come back later. <laughs> hmm. A single empire ruled by the true king. Well, that's cool. Got that out of their hand. I don't know why they killed that 4-3. Katarina. No going back. So Katarina does mean that we get to play this... Whoops. We get to play Stalking Broodmother next round. Because of Mobilize. 
Which I guess I should I guess I should have mobilized first because then I, I would have had one extra mana. Yeah, I should have mobilized first. Yeah, that was a pretty big mistake. They'll never know what killed them. Okay, so because I didn't play that um, that mobilize first, I now don't get to play the Blades Edge and kill either one of these, even though I'd really like to, because I need to have, or at least I want to have two mana to go along with the Broodmother. So we're down to three. What is this? Yep. Their hand was very good. Their deck is very good. Our hand was very bad. <laughs> this game was not close. That's how it goes. One Shivana would have unlocked our hand, and yeah, that would have been a lot different of a game, but we did not have it. Oh no, we have to face the same matchup, puppy. This deck's really good. And a really bad matchup for us. Okay, can we get the Shivana this time? We again have Shivana. We have Shivana enabled. Gotta get an attack in for zero. Let her know what's up. There's Shivana. Okay, so we'll be saving our spell mana for next round. So next round we can field promotion, Shivana. Really hope they don't have Monster Harpoon. I guess I could wait. Will pay for what they did to us. No, I can't really. I think we just have to go all in. I mean, I could wait around and you know, have Sharp Sight also. So yes, I could block with the House Fighter to, to not have Plunder enabled, but then they just go with the Midnight Raid anyway. And then and then what do I do, right? So it's by not blocking. Oh no, I guess we just block anyway. Well, let's go to eleven. Please pass. Yes. All right, we got a chance. We got a chance. They are nothing. I'll have my revenge. So barrier would only save one one damage. It's definitely not worth a barrier. Let's go. Alright, so Shivana's gonna level up. And next round we can Golden Ages rally, get multiple attacks. I think 
Is next round round six? Yeah, it's round six. Never mind. So we won't have the mana for Golden Ages plus Fight Spell, unfortunately. I'm glad no Sh no Shivana. Or sorry, no Sejuani. Gosh, all these names. I'm saving two life with one of these. I'm worried about... I am worried about uh, the deal five, right? If I go Golden Ages, they do five. That's really bad for me. Maybe I just pass. I'll play Katarina, but then I don't have this available. All right, cool. No deal five. So they only have two blockers. So they have to block with Gangplank right there. I think killing that's probably worth one point of damage than being at eight instead of seven. I think that's okay. All right, this rendered. Let's go, Dragon Shivana with Scout. So even though we were supposed to be like a battering ram scout deck, we kind of ended up being more of a Shivana scout deck. Shivana with lots of Shivana attacks. And that looked pretty good. Like Shivana gets really big, really fast. So there we go. All right, there is our Katarina Ram. We'll take that winning record, three and two. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty fun because you know you just want to you know get your battering ram, get your scout on it, and attack a whole lot. Cool little deck here. All right, so anyway, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know how you like the deck. Hopefully, y'all did. Um, yeah, let me know over there. And of course, we have the new expansion coming out. So um, by the time y'all are watching this, coming out like the, tomorrow, we got the new expansion coming out. So uh, let me know what kind of cards you're really excited about with the new expansion. Uh, you know, what do you want to see on? You know, what kind of decks you want to see on stream? And then also for next week's meme tier Monday, uh, you know, give me those deck ideas for what to play with the new expansion for next week's meme tier Monday. Love to hear about that. All right, but that's going to be it here for Katarina Ram. So as always. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.